Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is City of Brass. In case you missed my 30 minutes of game uh, video on this game on my main channel, this is a first-person roguelike set in like a uh, Arabian Nights sort of universe. It's really interesting and it's really fun. <laughs> and I'm excited to play it. So I'll kind of talk through some of the game mechanics while we're uh, doing the beginning. Okay, these guys are nasty. Okay. You're dead. There we go. Okay. So, as I said, it's a first-person roguelike. So think like... Um, Binding of Isaac meets Skyrim, because it's first person, meets, like, Aladdin. <laughs> and you'll find these, like, genies around the city that you're exploring, uh, and they'll sell you items and upgrades and stuff like that. Let's trigger that. There we go. There's more enemies. Oh, careful. And you have a whip and this, like, uh, the sword right here as well, or a, a shimitar, I believe is the, the proper term for it. Um, and then you can run around and you can get treasure. You can use this uh, gold to buy upgrades and all that sort of good stuff. And, uh, you know, it's a roguelike. Well, I, I think it would probably be more accurately classified as a rogue light uh, because it's... It's a little bit more casual than your typical roguelike, but it is permadeath. We also got this uh, Curus of Lightning. If one lays hands upon you, all who surround will be stupefied. So there's, there's an example of one of the upgrades. Uh, and when you get one, you can check your journal and see exactly what it does if you're not sure. Um, let's go this way. And you got to be careful because there's traps like all over the place. And those traps can really mess up your day if you're not careful. Okay, there's an enemy. Okay. Alright, I think we're mostly safe for the minute. This guy will sell a coin of soldiering, a plate of porcelain, and the flame of sight. Oh, hello. And you can use your... Ooh. You can use your whip to kind of like strategically hit enemies. Uh, you know, if you hit them in the face, they'll be stunned. If you hit them in the foot, they'll... Uh, like, um, fall over and, and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, I think I kind of want to try this Flame of Sight. I'm not sure. Oh, so it's actually a sword. Let's, uh, let's see. Use this torch to light your way or set your enemies ablaze. So it, uh, I, I guess it's an upgrade for our basic, uh, sword. Oh, hello. Didn't see that trap. That's a perfect example of, uh, you needing to pay attention if you want to not fail. <laughs> this is a trap right here, I think. No, it's not, but that is. Okay, that's fine. You can also pick up pots and chuck them at enemies. And that one exploded. And this, oh, apparently we set this on fire as well. Whoa! What? I guess I got too close to the fire there. So, note to self, be a little bit more careful. I can't really see if there's a trap over there or anything. Doesn't look like there's really anything over here. Okay. You can also jump and climb. We'll pick up this spot. That's a trap. This is a trap. What are you selling? A companion. Okay. We might want to buy that. Companions are relatively good. They're basically like minions that will help you. Okay. Got it. Okay. Trip him up, and get dead. There we go. So it appears that the torch by itself does the same amount of damage as, like, your basic sword. Two hits to kill those enemies. Um, but it also lights them on fire, so maybe you can use that to your advantage. And it does give you a little bit of light so you can kind of see where you're going, which I think is probably a good thing. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, trip. Okay. Okay. Did we get them all? Okay, you're on fire. And you're dead. All right, we're good. Oh, and we could disable all the traps for uh, 500 gold. You can also use your whip to, like, grab items that are farther away. 
So like if I want to grab this or break things or any of that kind of stuff, the option is there. I wouldn't, what's this guy? Uh, health for 250, that might be worth it as well. Our health is getting a little bit low. Just want to kind of look around a little bit. Let's pick this up. We can throw this at an enemy and light them on fire. When we come across an enemy, there we go. So he's dead. And then let's chuck that at this guy. Okay, he's dead as well. And you can also use your whip to like pick up things that are farther away. There we go. Also dead. And now we got more enemies coming at us. I think we have to be most careful of the guys with the cage on their heads because they're very fast and they charge straight at you. And they hurt too. I'm not sure. I haven't figured out yet. I mean, basically, I've played this game for about half an hour uh, before making this video that you're watching right now. Also, that's a thing that it appears I can't reach. Uh, you can get a, a, a whip upgrade that, like, extends the range of your whip. Ha hi. Oh, I, I moved. Yep. Okay, we're good. Where'd he go? Got him. There we go. Give me that. That did some work. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's a trap. And we got more enemies. Okay. Looks like that one's roughly... Oh, hi. Okay, yep. Got lit on fire a little bit, but we're okay. I think we're good. I think we've gotten all the enemies here. My health is running a little bit lower than I'd like it to, but I think we're safe. So let's grab all this treasure. Uh, there was that guy selling, that genie selling health a ways back, and apparently you are on a time limit as well. Uh, but you've got a fair amount of time, and I don't know if that time limit is to get through the entire thing, or to just get through the kind of the first level. That's a bunch of gold. Okay. A little bit more here as well. Let's kind of see if we can run back to that genie who was selling health. I think he was over here. My health is definitely lower than I'd like it to be. I think it was this one, right? Yeah. So we will buy the health. That gives us one heart. And then I think we'll just keep going. And we're probably getting fairly close to the end of, like, the first level. Uh, just spring the trap. Don't, don't give him that easy damage on you. Uh, we've already opened that. Let's peek out here. Trap there. That's the exit. Okay, gotcha. So, uh, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. We've got some health. We've got some money. And we are on to level two of the Forbidden Markets. And I haven't really played through the Forbidden Markets at all. This is going to be my first time in this kind of second zone. So we'll see how this works. And now it's night. I still have my torch. So it appears all your upgrades and stuff carry over. Your health carries over. Money carries over. That all makes sense. I would presume that that would be how it would work. There's an enemy right there. I was going to say, there's got to be an enemy in here somewhere. Oh, okay. I was going to say, does he not die in two hits anymore? What have you got? Uh, a better sword, the flower of rune, and the ring of attraction. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a trap door. Okay. Got it. So, you need to, like, jump over. Ah, uh, don't get too close to the fire. Okay. Oh, these guys are archers. That is uh, significantly more challenging. Okay, gotcha. You're dead. Okay, we're in one piece. We, we will probably die at some point on this second section because I've never been here and I haven't had a chance to learn enemy patterns and 
For those of you who uh, know anything about roguelikes, that's kind of an important part of learning roguelikes and, and becoming good at roguelikes is learning the enemy patterns, how they work, how they move, all that kind of stuff. We got a ton of gold now, though. So, break some of these, just see if we can scrounge up any more money. Doesn't appear so. Okay, and this was a trapdoor. Let's get this. That's a better sword. And then let's try this Flower of Rune. What's that do? When you approach the line between life and death, the terrible flower blooms. Okay, whatever that means. But I think the better sword is going to be important for us. Let's grab this. That's a trap right there. Okay, let's sneak over here. Kind of be vigilant. Lots of enemies. Oh, the sword is... This sword is way stronger. One shot on all those guys. That's lovely. What do you sell? Health. Absolutely. Give me some health. Okay. It is very dark now, though, so... Got to kind of be careful. That did not... Uh, oh! Does this genie shoot? What in the world was that? Killed by Etal the Hurler. I guess you have to wish and that'll disable him? I don't know. Let's do another run, though. This is, uh, I'm actually loving this game. This is the first game that I've played uh, on 30 minutes of game on my main channel, which is like my first impressions type series. It's the first game that I've played there where I'm like, I need to play this on the second channel. Like, this needs to be a thing. There are no enemies in this area. That's a first. Disable traps for 500. Okay. Okay. You're dead. Any more? No. But you can see, like, looking at this room layout, this is different than how it was the first time. And that's part of where the, the replayability comes in. Um, also, some of you are probably wonder what in the world would you come from? No, 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 no. Um, some of you are probably wondering, where's Isaac? Uh, what is, what's going on with Isaac? Are you replacing this with Isaac? Uh, basically how this is going to work is I'm going to do every other day. I'll do Isaac, and then I'll do City of Brass. That's kind of my plan. Because um, we're up to like 200 episodes in Isaac, I think we're fine to kind of uh, slow down the Isaac a little bit. And we had some days there where we were doing double Isaac episodes every day. So I think it's okay to kind of... Kind of turn down the amount of Isaac a little bit for a, for a little while while I kind of get my fill of this game. <laughs> because this is a... Like, you don't really see first-person roguelikes very much. And this one seems really well done. It is... Uh, it's in early access on Steam. They'll find a link in the description and all that kind of stuff, as always. Um, but it, I believe it is $24.99 on Steam uh, in early access. It just got a, a fairly large content update a couple days... Uh, like late October, I think maybe October 24th or something like that. So it is still being actively updated and all that kind of good stuff. All right. There's a trap there we want to avoid. Trap here we want to avoid. I do want to pick that up. I think I can kind of skirt around the very edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take this. Okay. Light him on fire. That. Whoa! Hello. Okay. Let's get rid of that dude. Okay. Nothing there. Don't see. There's an enemy up there. Enemies over here as well. Okay, got it. So, first of all, uh, you are supposed to fall. Okay, there goes that one. Oh, hi. Did not see that guy. Trip him up. Get out of the way. Finish him off. The whip is, like, critical to your success, I have found. Like, that you making use of that stun is, like, super important. It might not do as much damage. Uh... Tell you what, we'll just use the whip to pick that up. There we go. Pick up the money. And these guys can, like, jump. 
Like that? Okay. Oh, hi. Ow. Ow. Did not see that guy until it was too late, and that's a trap. Okay. Well, that, that did not... Uh, that went poorly. Oh, hi. There's another one. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, I seem to remember there was a health genie. Maybe over here? Was this the dude selling health? Yes. We we need that. Also, it, it appears that he had a wish function. I'm not sure what the wish does. We'll have to test that out at some point and see. Pick that up so we have something to toss at enemies. I see an enemy over there. Let's kind of skirt around this little bit. Okay. Pop in here. You need to attack. Get out of the way. Okay. Is that all the enemies in here? Just those two? That seems less than I would expect. What are these? Pads of silence. Though you run as if your life depends on it, your feet shall make no sound. Okay, so um, I guess uh, it makes you quieter so that enemies don't detect you as easily, perhaps? That seems potentially useful. Apparently they can still see you, though. Okay, there we go. And yeah, 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 this is where we were. Okay, got it. So let's kind of look around a little bit. Oh, hello. Okay. Any more? What are you selling? Needle of Tears. What's that? Oh, it's like a thrust as fast as a viper, but the wounds only run half as deep. So it appears that it attacks like twice as fast, but it hurts less. I don't know if I want that or not. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay. It has a little bit more range, it appears. Yeah, I don't like this weapon at all. This is uh, actually not a good thing. Damage downgrade, bad. Uh, let's go Blade of Cleaving. I think this hits harder. Presumably. Now we have like no health though, so we may be in kind of a tight spot considering we have no health. Hi. Please fall. Okay, so this does not seem to hit harder. I think it has longer range, though, maybe? I okay. Oh, that worked out surprisingly well. Okay. Doesn't appear to be any money over here. Dodosu the Cell Sword. So it's a companion that we could buy. We might want to get a companion at some point. Right now we can't really afford it. Please fall. There we go. He's dead. Okay. Nothing over there. I'm sure there are more enemies. Yep. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. Get out of the way. Uh, is there a pot or something I can throw? Not that I can see. Oh, man. They are... They are everywhere. All right. I think we're good. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! What what just happened? I went to adjust my head my headphones because my sound was a little weird and uh something killed me.
That's incredibly unfortunate. Oh well. We'll keep going. Let's do one more run. No enemies here. This guy sells health. Okay. Enemy up here. Hit him in midair. Oh, I didn't finish him. Okay, now I did. Got a couple of the runners. Okay. There we go. Something hit me. I don't know what it was. Some sort of fire. Maybe I got a little clue, a little too close to a. What is this? Cudgel of refu of refutation may do no direct harm. Instead, it sends your enemies flying. I I don't want to do damage. I, I want to do damage to enemies. I don't want to just send them flying away from me. That seems like a terrible plan. We'll go back to our basic sword, I think. Uh, and what do we got here? Money. Lots of money. Good. Okay. So I'll pick this up. And let's try and sneak out this way, I guess. Okay. There we go. What do you sell? The cudgel, the needle. Two, two items that I'm not really wanting. He died. Okay. Can I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Oh, boy. There we go. We got him. Okay, no money. I've got this, though. And I think this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, so let's toss that. Light them on fire. There are so many enemies. What hit me? Oh, trap. Okay, got it. Okay. There are so many. Please, please stay away. He's so fast. Look at him go. That should do it. A little bit of money right there. Okay, I think we have cleared this little area. So now we can run around and gather all or most of the treasure. I don't really see any treasure over here. There's another enemy I spot right there. Got him. Okay, there we go. Is that going to explode into gold? Nope. Ah, I should have seen that. That was... That's what I mean. You got to be so careful. Like... You have to be paying attention or you're going to have problems. Did I get him? I got him. Okay, there we go. You can also uh, explode these, like, fire pots here. What's in here? Okay. There's one. Is that all the enemies? No more enemies in this room? Lots of money. More treasure. More treasure. More treasure. Okay, so we got a ton of money, which is great. Probably want to use that to buy some upgrades. Uh, when we have the opportunity to do so. I don't see any enemies hanging out over there. I do see a genie. There's a guy. Who is very dead. Okay, he's on fire. I think we got them all. Okay, what do you sell? Fist of Daggers and the Lash of Reach. Let's try this Fist of Daggers thing. A forceful push becomes deadlier when these adorn your hands. Okay. And the Lash of Reach, I believe, is like a whip upgrade that increases its range. That was most definitely a trap. As is this one. I missed him. That one got him. Okay. Treasure. Okay, you're dead. 
take that. Doesn't look like I can get through over there. Wow, we have half a heart. We're like, not quite dead, but almost dead. Okay, go. Yeah, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay. I hear one of the guys with the, uh, ah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I do love this game, though. This is super fun. So I think I'm going to leave this one off right here, guys. Uh, welcome to City of Brass. This is kind of the introductory episode to the game. We'll keep going. Uh, every other day, I think, is when, how I'm going to do this series. I'm enjoying this game immensely. I, I look forward to becoming better. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.